Hey family, welcome back to our lovely channel. So I got my daughter Adriana here Hello. with me today. So what I wanted to do today was um, give you guys an update on our move out to the land in Arizona on the 10 acres. What are our plans um, and what stage we're in right now in the building process. So yeah. So anyways, you guys, I just want to start with really why we had, well, really why I decided to like start looking for land, um, not specifically in Arizona. It was just like one day, I just thought it just came to me, hey, look for some land. And when things like that happen for me, I think, well, I believe that it's the Lord, you know, speaking to me because like I had no real want or desire of anything like that, but it just came to me, you know, buy some land, look into getting some land. And so that's what I did. So um, in the comments, I see a lot of people asking, uh, what, what's the question? Sorry, <laughs> getting old, starting to forget stuff. Um, but they're at, they asked, um, where did I find the land and how much we paid for the land? So I found the land on Facebook Marketplace and the land was $26,000 for 10 acres. Like that's just amazing. And the prices have went up you guys. Like because when I bought the first property that I showed in the last video where we did the shed to house, um, I bought that for $2,500 and that was 2.5 or 2.2 acres. So yeah, prices really have went up, but all in all, that's a great deal for 10 acres. So if you guys are looking to purchase land, I would say get, try Facebook Marketplace first, okay? For some very affordable land. And I would say that Arizona is one of the cheapest that I have found and also New Mexico. And then you also have, um, what is it? Colorado, they have some really nice land out there, very cheap land, but in Colorado, they have way more restrictions. So you wanna be careful with uh, that. And when I say restrictions, it's you're just very limited on what you could do on your land. But where I'm at, there's very few restrictions, but there are restrictions. But we, like I said, you guys, we are far out from everybody. Um, so that that helped us out a lot. So you wanna make sure that uh, if you, well, for us, we wanted to make sure that we could camp on the land. There could be an RV on the land. Um, sorry, maybe, I'm sorry, you guys, I am in a rocking chair and I'm just rocking back and forth, so sorry. Um, be able to put an RV on the land, be able to, build almost whatever kind of house that we wanted to out there so that like that was a big plus for us we don't want we didn't want any hoa fees nothing like that very low taxes and that's what we got thank the lord so right now the process that we're at well, well the um yeah so right now the process that we are in we have it took <laughs> it took me forever you guys like literally months this is why it took so long for me to make a video because i would at first i really wanted a super small like just shed to house okay and then so i think i had it at an 18 wide by what was it like mm, like thir no like 30 long or 40 long something like that and then we had that going through on the engineer plans. Then I changed my mind and then I changed my mind again. And I know that people got tired of me, but you know, I was just thinking, Mona, no, get exactly what you want so you don't regret it later, you know? And I don't even know how we were gonna come up with the money. This is basically a faith move, you guys. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna order it. And when it's time to pay, 
the Lord's going to take care of it. I know that sounds crazy, but I truly do believe that. So basically the permits are at the county now since the engineer plans have finally come back since I made up my mind that we are going with a 30, 30 foot by 60 foot. And then it's going to be really tall, 16 foot sidewalls on the cabin. And I will show that right here. It's gorgeous. So here in about a couple of weeks, we should have the permit and they, when, once the permit comes back, they're going to tell us, hey, go and have your concrete poured. Once the concrete is poured, we make our appointment for them to come out and actually build. So y'all, this should be happening any day now and I'm super, super excited about it. But right now we are at a place that has sheds and I just wanted to show you guys, here, grab your phone, Raj. I just wanted to show you guys what you could possibly do if you wanted to try to do something that we're doing. Buy you a piece of land, whether it's an acre, two acres, whatever. Like if you're planning on doing homesteading or something like that, you can even start with like two acres. Some people do it with less acres than that. But um, anyways, so I just wanted to walk you guys through a couple of these sheds that you can turn into houses and just inspire you guys a little bit doing this. All right, here we go. Okay, family, so this is the first shed or cabin we're gonna walk you through, okay? And then in this inside, I believe they have like the dimensions and everything, but you guys, this is gorgeous. I could do something like this, couldn't you, Raj? Yeah, I like it. It was like 50,494. How much was it last time we came? I just looked inside, it's 50,494. That's excluding $50,000 excluding ta tax for this you guys it is local pickup delivery included. okay so right now we are in columbus ohio should we consider this lewis center lewis center columbus ohio almost the same thing but let's go inside There's well let's show you the front porch oh yeah well i'll show you my dog that we're going to be bringing to arizona <laughs> with us okay you guys look at this ranch that is just gorgeous look at the porch I'd say this would be good for a, a small little family. Like if you have children, maybe. Let me go inside. Oh, look at the high ceilings. Let me try to, can I zoom out? Look at that. Okay, last time they didn't have all these chairs and stuff stored in here. But I'm gonna get all the way in the corner. You guys, you cannot beat this. Look at that. Just look, and with how high rent is right now, it's disgusting, absolutely horrible. So save, your, save up your money. You guys, I don't care if you have to go live in your car for a while. I don't care if you have to go live back in with your parents, a friend or something like that. If you're younger, move back in with your parents, save your money. Okay, and then you can buy something like that, this, that could, that you could call your own. And have it paid off, yeah, have it paid off. Right. So, let's see, this is called the Fairview 7, and it is a 27 by 32. Okay, so Odd, you asked, um, our building is 30 feet, so ours is gonna be 30 feet wide by 60. So ours will be almost as wide as this, just a little bit wider and much longer, longer double. Okay, so anyways, look at this y'all. So this can be your cute living room over here. It's so spacious. This can be the living room, okay? And then if it were me, what would I do? Okay, I would, so I would have the living room right here you would have to put a bathroom. If it was me, I would build this out into like a bathroom area. Thanks. My daughter just helped me out with the camera. <laughs> I would put walls up and make this like into a bathroom. There would be a little hallway right here. Um, I would have kitchen cabinets, like a long kitchen right here. Even have a bar coming out this way. 
have your uh, sink, kitchen sink, um, refrigerator, all that over here, the possibilities are endless. And it even has an upstairs. Look at this. I mean, you can do so much to these things, you guys. And they're basically just sheds. My goodness. Something like this in California, you guys, would be how much? Millions. <laughs> A couple millions. Even New York. Portland, Oregon. Like, this is gorgeous. And then, make your bedroom up here. Ooh, it's hot. Look at that. Yes. Have some beautiful lights coming down. I would have, y'all know I'm a glam girl. So I would have beautiful chandelier coming down right here. This is absolutely stunning. And this is where, I mean, this is the bedroom area up here. Loft, okay. Let's go back downstairs, has a window. Look at my new dog. <laughs> right now, you guys, I, I literally went to my granddaughter's birthday party and her mom had this dog for 50 bucks. Look how cute. <laughs> and I think her name's gonna be Arizona. I think it's Zona. What? Zona. Zona. First I said Lona, Zona. Zona. <laughs> yeah. So like if I had this, y'all, I would be so happy. I would be very thankful like for something like this that I own straight out. I mean, if you did payments on something like this. So it says the base price is $40,030. The total options, 10,464. Okay, so I guess like maybe if you want the stairs and all that, that's what, when it comes up to 50,000. Yes, with the options and everything. So it equals out. So what do you think about all this, Aj? I mean, honestly, <laughs> um, I think it's good in this time of generation to get, you know, your own land and everything. Absolutely. You know, the government doesn't want, you know, you know want you to have your own things. Mm -hmm. So it's good right now while everything is still, we're able to buy things for ourselves. A Perfect. little bit affordable. Yeah. yeah. So hurry up and get your land, hurry up and get your own homes and sheds and stuff built and everything because times are going to get, you know, pretty bad, pretty rough. Yeah, because the Bible even tells us that, right? Mm -hmm. Like in the book of Revelation that, you know, times are really, really going to get rough. They're going to get bad. So before any of this happens, I'm just saying you guys prepare. Let's yeah. prepare for the worst. And for some know? reason, for some reason, I just been wanting to just like not depend so heavily on the government, but to mm -hmm. sort of keep, you know, the like just naturistic skills, like survival skills yeah. and everything. Like we need to start Monster. making our yeah, like when you start making our own food, having our own garden, you know, having our own water and everything. Right. I don't know, I just feel like that's just something that God's calling us to do, obviously, because we're about to start doing it. But Right, and like I said before, like, why, why did I even get this, that thought that came upon me, like, Mona, go get some land. Just start looking at land. And then the shed to house thing, you know. So, um, I'm just blessed that, you know, God speaks to us and he always gives his children warning you know, before anything. So, yeah, I just wanted to throw yeah. that in there. So, I mean, if we're a little, not like scared, but we don't really know what to expect, at least me, because I've never been down there really. And she's talking so about I, moving without, yeah, moving. you know. Because I've never been down there before, but honestly, I love the heat and everything. I would love to be in the middle of nowhere. Right. But we're not too far in the middle of nowhere. Like, we're still somewhat close, you know, to the city. So that's mm -hmm. Um, but I mean, it's just take a leap of faith. Just go, go ahead and do it. Yeah, go like, for it, you guys. I mean, you never know if it's going to work out if you never even try it. Like, right, right. And like with us, you guys, we're going to, like I said, we're going to do water haul. So it's going to be completely off grid for, for right now. That's what our plans are. But it's going to be water hauling our water to the land. I mean, it's going to be some work. Um, we're going to have solar panels. Okay, who knows, maybe even wind, but I never even looked into having like the wind uh, things out there. I don't even know what you call them, but who knows you guys, but um, it's getting a little iffy in America, in the world, if y'all know what I'm talking about. And things are just seeming very unstable. Look at the American dollar, like it seems like it's going to collapse soon. So 
I think it would be best if people just start looking into getting some cheap land, start off with an acre, do whatever you can, try to get out of debt, start paying off your debts um, so you don't owe a lot of money. That way you could start building some kind of wealth, okay? So that is just my little talk with y'all. I know y'all wanna see some more uh, buildings, so let's go do that. Yeah, so this is if, you know, you had the money to do something like this. Where's the doll? Right here. Oh. <laughs> Look, she's like, what about me? Y'all about to lock me up in here. Come on, Arizona. Arizona. <laughs> All right, so this is one of the, the bigger ones. So this was 50000 but some people, to some people, that's too much money. They don't want to spend that. So let's go and walk, walk down here. This is super cute. Look at the top of that. So let's just walk right in here real quick. I would love something like this. I could deck that out for sure. Wouldn't that be a cute little tiny house, you guys? I mean, just look at that. Knock, knock. Come on in. Thank you. <laughs> oh, your house is beautiful and spacious. Do they have a, okay, so let's turn and see how much this building is going for. Look, you guys, come on now. You can't beat that. And you don't even be afraid to start like small because you can always build on off, like build yeah. on to it in the future. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, start small and then you build from there, like we're doing. <clears throat> um, so it's thirty-four fifty-six, excluding tax, blah blah blah. So twenty-four hundred with the tax. I think that's what they're trying to say. But look at that, you guys. And on these things, I don't know if you can make payments, but I'm sure you can, because on most of these sheds you can do that. So look at that. You got your loft up here, your stairs your front door, you got nice windows over here. Put your kitchen up over here, or even like a little bathroom under the stairs. And then come on out, you have your kitchen sink and everything, your refrigerator, stove, your living room. Watch out, Arizona. Look at that. And then you have the tall ceilings. All right. And let's go, I'll probably show you about two more. I probably won't go inside of all of them. But there's this one. Again, we are in Lewis Center, Ohio, showing you these buildings. I would walk further, but I got these high heels on. These babies are barking. Oh, Audrey, this is a new one. They didn't have this last time. Here's a smaller one, you guys. I like that one. Okay, this is cute. Is that not adorable? Look at the front. You could definitely turn this into a house. Shoot, you can buy one of these and get a couple for your kids and put on the property. Oh, if you're into selling like Airbnbs. Yeah. I wonder why they have a blanket right there. Oh, yeah, very spacious. Let's see, you guys. Look at this. Bam. My car costs that much. Yeah, her car, my daughter's car costs that much. In this way, you can have a home and build it out as you go, you guys. A 16 by 24, and it seems bigger than a 16 by 24 to me, because you have this back part. Let's open it up. Protect me, Jesus. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Yeah, look, your bedroom could be back here. Anything. I love it. And I'm sure you can get it without the garage door. Have your windows up there. Gorgeous. Okay, let's say that 22,000 is out of your price range. Look at this cute little tiny home. That is so adorable. So adorable. Plant you some nice flowers out in the yard. Get you some nice pretty trees to go on the side. I mean, you just have to have the vision, you guys has a little planter box. Knock, knock, come on in. Oh, look, oh, look, Aj. Audrey, you can get these like already done with the electrical box and everything. 
you guys, this is amazing. So I don't know what kind of boarding this is, but look at that. So I'm sure you can get it with this. Let me brighten my camera up a little bit. Yeah, so it comes with electrical package. And then look at the ceiling. Isn't that gorgeous? With your hand lighting. Yeah. Come on now. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> That's amazing. Some of y'all spend that on a car that goes down in value. Get you a house. Get you a house. Even if the bathroom won't fit in here, get you an outhouse that you could put outside. I mean, our ancestors have lived that way for plenty of years. Time to get back primitive, you guys. I mean, but you don't have to if you don't want to. But anyways, I can see this being just like a little studio. Put your bed in here, put you a little small refrigerator in here, a camper cooktop. You can have your bed up there, like a little small mattress, and on this side, because it has two of them. That can be storage. Go here. Come on now. Okay, since my feet are barking, we're here's one right here. I'm gonna speed this up. I don't want the video to be long, too long, because then, It'll take it forever to upload. And ain't nobody got time for that. Okay, so that is cute and I want to go in it. <laughs> so here's the outside. Okay, cute, super cute. Oh, I like this. I like it. Open, it doesn't have a loft. But you don't need one. You don't want one. And you guys, this one is. That one just seems so much higher than all. I mean, the stair. I mean, to get in. $22,463 for a 20 by 24. This seems very spacious. Especially like for one person. Mm -hmm. Huh? Shouldn't we get a garage for like our cars? Yeah, it's in due like time. This. But since we're not taking out loans for anything, we're gonna try not to, you guys. Um, it's gonna be a slow process, but it's gonna get done by, with the help of the Lord. They have the cutest, cutest little tiny homes. Well, sheds, I call them tiny homes. That has dormers. How cute is that? How cute? Look at that. Look at it. Look at this one, I love this color. Let's see how much this tiny one is. Now this is pretty small. Super cute with the porch. $15,523. The place I'm at is Shed Builder. This is not sponsored. But I love their sheds so much, they don't have to pay me. I mean, I just wanna help you guys out, you know? So if you are in Ohio, I'm sure they can ship too, who knows? But anyways, they even have ones this small. See, you can order one just like this and have it as your bathroom, build it out as a bathroom. So buy like something that's this size, that size for all the living quarters and then you have this outside as a restroom and you can glam it up. You can get it without these shelves. I'm telling you, just have a vision, you guys. This smaller one is what? $4,456. Bam. Well, I hope that you all enjoyed this video and the tour of these little tiny homes. Well, sheds that you could make tiny homes. Um, stay tuned. I hope that you guys would subscribe so that you can follow the channel and see our progress on um, our property and everything that we're doing out there. Um, I'm going to let you know now that we are also planning something else on the land, but I, I'll share. I can't talk. <laughs> 
I'll save that for the next video and it's pretty cool. So subscribe and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss our up and coming video. All right, bye you guys. Bye. Love you. Remember, Jesus loves you with an everlasting love. Amen. Bye.